Welcome back, my friends. Well, our first guest today joined us last year ahead of their improvised Zoom event at the Ordway. Now they're coming back to the Twin Cities and all over the place. But this time, listen to this. They're in person and it's at the Fitzgerald Theater. Please welcome back to the show from Whose Line it Is It Anyway, Colin and Brad. Hey, guys. Hey. Howdy. I remember asking you guys this when you were here before. And now that you're done with that particular tour, is it hard? Was it hard to be funny over Zoom? Yeah, yeah, it's really <laughs> difficult. You, you can't hear laughs if you're, you're in a room by yourself. He's in Toronto. I'm in Las Vegas. And uh, yeah, it's it, it's like painting in the dark. Yeah, it's really odd to do a comedy show to, you know, silence, which, you know, Brad is totally used to, but it really <laughs> threw me a little. <laughs> uh, oh, now, damn, now, see, Colin, now Brad just walked off the interview. No, I He'll mean, be back. He has nowhere to go. That's very true. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't I didn't have a water bottle to throw. Oh, well, because I, I honestly was thinking about you guys, because Lord knows over the past 13 months, I've done my share of interviews on Zoom. And for comedy, it's all about timing. And you guys know this with the millisecond delay that Zoom gives you. It is hard to get that rhythm down. It's, right? It's really difficult. Yeah, it's, we're just sort of trying to make each other laugh and have a funny conversation when we're doing the streaming. Uh, so it's going to be really nice to be back in front of uh, actual human beings. <laughs> because, I mean, it, it's kind of like doing a, a, a ballet uh, from a Zoom, and each dancer is like in another room, and uh, you go to leap and you land on your couch instead of being caught by your partner. Colin, tell me about the show. I love the name, Scared Scriptless. Uh, yeah, we like to say it's sort of a live version of Who's Line without the tall guy and the black guy. <laughs> it's uh, totally improvised. Uh, we get suggestions from uh, every scene starts with a suggestion from the audience. We have audience members on stage with us at certain points. And it's just fast, goofy, non-political fun. Brad, what I the the craft of of uh, of ad libbing and the craft of of improv. I have such respect for we had to do a thing here where I, I took a class for a day just for t TV. What aspect of improv is still after all these years of doing it? I was wondering what aspect of it is maybe kind of not a favorite of yours. Uh, anything that requires me to remember a lot of information for a long period of time in a scene like a, something where we get we have a one scene where uh we get the audience to give us all the details of a crime the location uh, a, a murder weapon and i sometimes can't remember that uh so uh, when you know it's i like the singing i like all the other brain puzzles but having to remember like a grocery list of details that's that's what i hate the most colin how about for you um, well, I, I mean, it used to be um, the singing part, uh, but we've added some musical uh, bits to the show, which I actually am really starting to enjoy. I, I, both Brad and I have figured out ways to make the show really difficult for us because we find when we're outside of our comfort zone, that's where the fun is. And for me, I can't be farther out of my comfort zone than singing. <laughs> is there is there a section of the audience you know every time we have a comedian here uh, different jokes play differently in different parts of the country is there a particular harder part of the country to play in uh, as far as uh, the audience is concerned i don't know if there's a harder place because you know the show is kind of steered by them so yeah. it, it, you know and we're not ever doing anything that's just like sort of uh, oh, big city or, you know, out in the country stuff. We get the suggestion from them and, you know, we're playing plumbers and firefighters and, and stuff like that. So it's usually stuff that almost everyone can relate to, except that those plumbers and firefighters are like being attacked by lemmings from Mars based on their suggestions. <laughs> so everyone can relate to it, I guess, uh, who's been attacked by lemmings from Mars. Colin, <laughs> you and Brad have been working together for 20 plus years. Does it seem like 20 plus years? Uh, in some ways, yes, but I'd say <laughs> mostly no. It's been um, like a, a nice little um, marriage. Uh, we get along great. We've never had a fight in the 20 years that we've been working together. And that's through, you know, going through snowstorms, uh, missed flights. Um, I've be, I been, I think we've both been very lucky to have found each other and ending up making this show. 
Brad, last question. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Brad. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. I was just going to add that if you count working on Who's Line, we've been uh, working together for over 30 years. Yeah. Well, my last question was going to be about Who's Line, and that is because uh, I'm a TV nerd, and, and I remember when it debuted. I remember it uh, getting on the schedule at ABC. Were, were you guys shocked at how big it became on ABC originally? I, I don't think I was very shocked. I mean, it was already popular from the British version that yeah. was on Comedy Central way before that. Uh, but, you know, luckily Drew was the host, and so he kind of kicked the doors open on American television. And uh, we, I think we were more confident that it was going to be successful than the network because they only ordered six episodes that they were going to air in the summer. And they did so well that it was, ran for eight seasons. Yeah, amazing. Guys, we can't wait to see you back and not on Zoom uh, here in the Twin Cities. So thanks for coming back to us. Thanks, Jason. Oh, thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. Scared Scriptless comes to Fitzgerald on November 6th here in the Twin Cities. For ticket information, head to ColinAndBradShow.com. And if you're watching us from other parts of the country, go to their website for information on their dates for your city. We'll be back right after this.